YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. NVIDIA is it one of the most overbought stocks on Wall Street? Yes, no, maybe so. So we'll get into that. Now, the interesting thing is I was listening to uh, Kathy Wood on Bloomberg uh, this morning from a previous recording, and she mentioned the supply is having issues with NVIDIA. Um, they can't keep up with with the demand, right? So I don't know if that's true or not. She kind of made mention of that, that, you know, a lot of companies are buying so many chips at the same time that they're having an issue keeping up. Now, I don't know if that has any impact on what the, the price action was on Friday. I personally think that it was just time for a sell-off. Now, some videos ago, I mentioned once NVIDIA hit $1,000 per share, what was going to happen? It was going to be a sell-off. So we weren't far off from reaching $1,000 a share. And what did it do? It sold off. So I can kind of see that the price was really getting exhausted. But this doesn't mean that NVIDIA won't climb uh, over the next few weeks back to kind of where it was. Now, what do I think about NVIDIA with this upcoming week? We're gonna go ahead and, and look at things, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I think is gonna happen from here. So we've talked about these things time and time again. Now I have this one week chart pulled out. I think I'm gonna go to a one day and kind of see what we can find from here. Not liking that. So let's go. Eh, I think I'm gonna include the extended hour. So as we can see, we peaked up to, to 974 on Friday. And then when this big fat red candle came here, it was pretty much all uh, that was written. And then we came all the way down to 865. Now, as I always say, what's going to be important here is what's going to happen in the pre-market um, on tomorrow morning, which will be March the 11th. So is this thing going to kind of recover some of the losses um, in the pre-market? Is it going to continue to sell off? That'll kind of give me an indicator when I look at the volume um, in correlation with it selling off or there's there's going to be some buys or if it's going to be stagnant movement that'll kind of give me more of an idea but when we look on this thing a little little further out i mean just look at this thing basically parabolic movement now what i will say is when we look at the technicals i think when we're coming, we're looking at the downside, obviously, we're going to have to test um, to the downside, 786 um, would be the next big leg down, but I don't know if that's going to happen this week. I can see us testing maybe 838, and if we can't find support there, then we'll make our, our way down to about, you know, 788 or so but if we can find some strength even though on the reversal coming down about 80 86 836 we can bounce back up to test uh 875 which is where we are now and so the next level we would have to test is getting back above 900 dollars a share if we can find strength here then we'd be back off to the races in my opinion so we'll see what happens with NVIDIA. And no matter if we're going up or down with this thing, we've got to be ready to make money, right? So what do you guys think? Where is your brain kind of thinking NVIDIA is going to go? Um, or are you going to wait in the pre-market on Monday to kind of, you know, uh, excel on whatever your predictions and what you see in the technicals. Okay, so for me, 
Uh, Monday morning is going to be a big day. Now, yeah, it can go to the downside and ultimately end positive uh, for the week overall. But in the early part of the week, I want to see what the pre-market on Monday is going to do. There's going to be a hard sell-off continuing that may not be good, okay? If it shows signs that we have some buyers, uh, maybe some wills to step in and buy this thing, and this is green. And when I say green, I mean like 1%, 1.5%, 2% in the pre-market, okay? That would be a good sign. But nevertheless, let me know what you guys think. Do you think the video is overbought? I want to know in the comments what you think. Now, as far as what the analysts are saying, they see this thing as an average of about 855. So we're we're about there. So that would, would indicate the correction we had was healthy on uh, on on Friday. So to the high side, they still have this thing going to 1400, old side 460, which was that, that long consolidation period. Now, overall, they have this thing as a buy, um, which is nearly 60%, and then a strong buy, about 34%. So not much on the selling point. Now, what was interesting uh, that I saw on Robinhood's app is they had this thing at rated at, at about 730 to 740 ish. So that was one thing that concerned me. Uh, even if it were to come down to like 730, 740 ish, I could see this thing bouncing back up quickly. So we all know with NVIDIA, if this thing sells out hard, it can recover uh, and go to new all times hard as well. All right. That's enough rambling for me today, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, is NVIDIA overbought? Um, in my opinion, I'm going to keep that to myself. I'm going to let the analysts handle that. We just play those technicals, use your stop losses, and I'm out. Peace.